today's video, I'm going to share with you a comparison between Squarespace and Teachable so that you can figure out the best online course platform for your business. So in my last video, I told you about how I finally figured out how to host an online course in Squarespace. So I'll leave a link for you in the description below so that you can go and check that out. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week, so definitely hit subscribe if you would like some help making the tech in your online business easier. So this video is going to be comparing the method that I figured out in Squarespace versus Teachable. And this method is just the best and easiest way I found to do this, though I'm sure there are other alternatives as well. And if you're wondering how you can get access to this method, I actually created a brand new mini course that walks you through step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do, which you get access to when you join Website the Wow. All right, so let's dive in to the comparison. The first main difference is the student login. With Squarespace, each of your students is going to have the same password to access your course area. Whereas with Teachable, when someone purchases their course, they're going to create their own unique password to access the course. So this is how it would look in Squarespace. Everyone has the same password and comes in and logs in here. Whereas with Teachable, when they sign up for your course, they're going to be asked to create their own password. So this means that with Teachable, you're going to get more information on the student as well. So when you log in in Teachable, you can see when the student last logged in, what videos they've watched and how they're progressing through your course, though you have to be on the pro plan to gain access to all these features. So for example, with each student, I can see when they last logged in. And if I click over here to enrollments, I can see how much of the course they have gone through. You can get a ton of data here, but this is only on the pro plan or higher. Next, let's talk about adding content. So both methods make this pretty easy, but Squarespace has the extra step of uploading to Vimeo first. But once you've done that, it is very easy to add any type of content that you would like to the lesson area. I would say that Teachable is a bit faster to work with because of the drag and drop functionality. So basically I could pick up this lesson and just drop it up here uh, to change the order. Whereas in Squarespace, I actually need to come in here and change the date that it was published. Even though we're not displaying the date, this is how the order is established. So it's a bit more time consuming in Squarespace. Next, let's talk about additional features. So Teachable comes with quite a few additional features that you might love. The first is an affiliate system. So I absolutely love this feature and think that it's amazing that an affiliate system is built in. Basically, all I need to do to make someone an affiliate is click on affiliate, turn this on here, and then set the affiliate commission here and send them their personalized link here. So I love how easy this is. Another thing that I like about Teachable is that students can see their own completion rate. So for example, as they complete and continue a lesson, it's going to change this percentage here and let them know how much more of the course they have remaining. You're also able to set up a certificate of completion. So when someone goes through your course, this is what they will receive. For this one though, you do have to be on the pro plan or higher. And Teachable has built-in quizzes that you can add to each lesson. Another reason I love Teachable is because you can easily add an upsell offer to your thank you page. And another great feature of Teachable is that you can drip out your content. So for example, I can click set schedule and I can determine that this is released a certain number of days after a student enrolls. So that is a pretty fantastic feature as well. All right, next let's compare what your pages will look like starting with your sales page. You can actually create a very similar sales page in both Squarespace and Teachable. So here is my sales page on Squarespace. And here is my sales page on Teachable. So as you can see, very similar. 
I think the advantage to working with Squarespace, um, assuming that you have already been working with Squarespace, is that you know how to use it already. And I do find it more flexible than Teachable Sales Page Builder. However, when it comes to checkout pages, Teachable is the clear winner. So I love how much you can customize this page. So it's all a one page checkout, but you can also add your testimonials. You can add a recap of what people get and your guarantee as well. And they make this really easy for you to customize. This is in contrast to Squarespace's checkout page, which while being really nice is very simple and you can't customize it very much. And next we have your thank you page. Teachable is the clear winner here because you can add that upsell offer and they also give you quite a lot you can customize as well. And then of course there's the pricing differences. So here's a breakdown of the pricing in Teachable. They also do have a free plan, but the issue with the free and the basic plan here, which is $39 per month, they both have transaction fees and that is going to quickly add up. So it's likely if you do go with Teachable, you're going to want to use the professional plan, which is $99 per month and no transaction fees. Another issue with Teachable is that for the free and basic plans, they display Teachable branding, which you might not want. So what I'll do with the pricing breakdown is I'll leave some links for you in the blog post that accompanies this video so that you can go and check it out. And it shows you nice and easily here which features are available with what plan. Now, the cost of Teachable for my method is $40 to $46 per month, depending on whether you're paying annually or month to month. So assuming you're using Squarespace for your website already, this is a super affordable option because it's only an extra $20 per month. So for everyone, I recommend that for your website, for regular business purposes, you're on the Squarespace business plan, which is 18 to $26 per month. So really it's only about a $20 increase in your monthly price for Squarespace. So Squarespace wins in terms of being more affordable. For both options, I recommend that you use ConvertKit for your email marketing. So either way, you're going to have that expense, which is $29 per month. And then for the Squarespace option, you might also want to use the plus plan of Vimeo, which is around $10 per month as well. So still with all that considered, Squarespace is the more affordable option. Next, let's talk about the features that you get with both Squarespace and Teachable. So with both Squarespace and Teachable, you're going to get your sales metrics broken down. You're going to get live chat so you can get support from either Squarespace or Teachable during the day Eastern time, but you do have to be on the pro plan and up for this. Then you're also going to have the ability to take comments under your lessons and support your students this way. You get to sell unlimited courses on either platform, offer payment plans and subscriptions, discounts, but for this you need to be on the Teachable basic plan or up, and integrations with other tools, again, on the basic plan or up. And finally, let's talk about customization and branding. So Squarespace was the clear winner on this one. You're going to have a lot more customizations for how your course area looks. Basically, it's the same as customizing your website. So you know you have a lot of options there to make your course area and lessons look more unique. With Teachable, you can customize your colors. I know this has been a problem for some people though because the color changes are site wide. So that means even if you have a bunch of different courses, your colors are going to be the same for all of them. Another issue with using Teachable is that your course is going to look very similar to other courses using Teachable. This may or may not be an issue for you. So for example, this is my course here in Teachable and this is a course that I took by Think Creative Collective all about mastering Trello for your business, which was fantastic by the way. 
Um, but as you can see, their course area looks almost identical to mine. So you can definitely achieve a more custom look with Squarespace. All right guys, so that's it for my comparison. Now I would love to hear from you. After watching this video, which platform are you going to choose for your online course? And definitely click the link below this video because I'll include a link with all tools and resources listed out for you. And don't forget that I created a new mini course that walks you through step by step exactly how to set up your online course in Squarespace and you gain access to that when you join my online program, Website That Wows. So I'll leave a link for that down below where you can grab a free trial and check that out. Alright guys, that's it for me this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down below and I'll see you soon with another video.